In the next two minutes, I'm going to talk about that. How do you find the difference in days between two dates? Let's go. All right, so I have a simple table right here, activity, start, and the end. And I'd like to subtract the end date and the start date to be able to get how many days are there in between. You can write a formula by yourself in the add customs column, or you can also use the UI to solve the same problem. Let's just first use the UI and take a look at some nuances of that. So I'll first select the end date, then I'll select the start date. The order of selection is really important. So first this one, then this one. Then I'll go to the add columns tab. In the add columns tab, I have the date column. And note that I have called subtract days formula right here. If I happen to click on that, you're going to see that I do get one additional column, which is nothing but the number of days between these two dates. Now, one thing which is really important is that this particular option in the add columns tab is only going to be highlighted if the column that you selected was marked as the date column in the first place. Otherwise, it's not going to be highlighted. That's for one. And the second thing is that this at the moment does not include both the days. So it starts with one and it ends on 15. It doesn't include both the days. So what you might have to do is you'll have to come to duration.days and you then have to add one outside of the bracket, not within the bracket. Press one and that actually gives you the perfect answer of how many days are between two dates. I hope you found this useful. Before you go, don't forget to check out my courses on Power BI and also do not forget to subscribe to my email list, which is where I share incredibly awesome videos that I create and a couple of other things around Power BI. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. See you around.